Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome back to our Chicken Legends Let's Play Adventure. Go ahead and buckle up, this one might be a bit of a long and wild ride. We've got a lot to do today because we're going to try to get Quarry Processing 2.0 or Processing 2.0 up and running by the end of the episode. It might take 20 minutes, might take 2 hours, it's definitely not going to be a 2 hour video. I'll cut out a lot of stuff before I make a 2 hour video. Right now what we've got going on here is I built another assembly table because over here I'm trying to create some basic gates and over here I'm trying to create some pulsating chipsets. It's going well so far. We're gonna need quite a few of these for the automation process that I'm dreaming up in my mind and uh, hopefully it'll work out well. Hopefully we don't want to run out of power. Let's go see how we're doing on our power draw over here. I, I, I had all this running before we started the episode because I didn't want to spend too much time with it but oh good gosh we've got full power draw. We're doing good. We're doing okay. We certainly have enough steam to maintain this. I, I've limited the quarries a while back because we weren't really needing a whole lot of EMC out of them. So we're we're doing just fine there. Isn't this just glorious? Look at that. Can I get just a snapshot of this real fast? Would y'all mind if I just... There we go. Excellent. Might use that as a thumbnail. Might not because it really doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing in this episode. We're just... We're getting a start off here. Uh, okay, we got about... How many of these? Let's go ahead and we'll get nines. We got... 11 we'll go ahead and we'll head out of here with 12 of them because I think that's a pretty good place to start Next up we're gonna head back in here. We're going to build our furnaces our induction smelters and our in, in, our Induction smelters and then what is the macerators we're building the macerators are the rotary macerators Oh, hot diggity. We're gonna need a lot of scrap metal blades Which means we're gonna need some scrap metal Which means we're gonna have to take the bit of scrap metal that we have now and compress it and we're only going to get how much out of this process Wow, so we're only going to have one of these and we're gonna need Jeez! We're gonna need a lot of them. All right, well, we better go and head back into the nether where we have our recycler and start chuckle blocking it full of metal to recycle. And if it takes a while, just cut it out of the video. Because again, I don't want a two hour video. Some people are like, yeah, we should just make a video two hours long and I'll watch them. And it's like you don't understand how YouTube works. You don't understand. You might watch them, but very few other people will. Where did Eddie go? Great, Eddie's runoff. Fantastic. Well, a very few other people will. Also, if you don't know what we're doing with scrap metal, go watch the last episode because that's where we figured this out. Episode 33. This should be now episode 34. By now we know if you just throw some metal into a recycler, you'll get scrap metal back out. Let's go ahead and do that number where we get a hopper. Excellent. And we put that hopper on top of the recycler and then we fill it with metal. Oh, fantastic. It's automated. Glorious happy day. All right, we'll let that keep going. We've got let's get one more of these out of here uh, It's gonna take a while. Something just blew up Let's assume it was the quarry the quarry must have blown something up. We need to check on the quarry again, too I'm not sure if it's acted up again since geez, this is not a reliable system. We should probably build another recycler We'll go check on this up here and yeah, analytics says not everyone will watch a two-hour video Most people don't watch past ten minutes, so we do keep the videos a little what the heck is that? What on earth? What, what is, what? Let's see if it survived. Hello? Hello, evil little creature. That was terrifying. Okay, back up to the surface we go. We're just, just gonna disregard and ignore. Let's see if we can get in the base here without being attacked too terribly. Oh no, he's watching, he's watching the door, look at him. Get in there, get in there, get in there, go, 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 and we're good. Jeez, it's dangerous here. See, this is why we needed this safety base. Safety base! Put it in the hallway, safety base! Keep the monsters away! That'll be 50 bucks. Alright, we'll cut down to the point where we have enough scrap. So just do one of those blur fades. Blur fade. Alrighty, we've got what we needed. Excellent, so we got four of those. Another thing we're gonna go ahead and build is our medium voltage power containment nonsense, the MFE. We're gonna build an MFE because our little bat box up there in the nether is not going to be enough for all of our power needs. So we're gonna build an MFE, not an MFSU. We're not gonna blow ourselves up again here like we did in the last episode where we built this guy. And, or did we build a high vo- We did something and it was bad and we blew stuff up. We're not gonna do that this episode. We're gonna need a lot of redstone and we're gonna need, I think, four diamonds. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab those things. One of those three Quattro. Excellent. We will go ahead and we will build our... Okay. Well, alright. You know what? We'll, we'll do it manually. That's fine. 
two, three, four. And of course they don't stack because of reasons. We're also gonna need some double insulated gold cables. Now we already have this bad boy and we already have some gold cables. So we will grab, I think just four of them is all we needed. So we've got four of them. That was a bit of a roundabout way of doing it. We're also gonna need some rubber. So we've got four cables. So we'll need, I think double insulated, we'll need eight rubber. We'll just grab a stack of it and be done with it. Put these in here, this up here. Look at that, we've got our four cables, four double insulated cables. Put that there, put these around it. And I think that this is right. It's not, but it's very close. And that's what matters at the end of the day. <laughs> Excellent. We got ourselves an MFE and look, we've got an update for it. See, this is what happens when your game gets terribly, terribly corrupted and you have to reinstall everything. You get glorious moments like this. Now you'll notice we're starting to run out of charcoal, which is something we haven't had happen before. The reason for that is, of course, our uh, uh, quarries out here in the real world have stopped wor working. We're not we're not using them anymore. I'm stumbling a lot, but they've they've all stopped mining. And I think we're done here. If we're going to if we can get this thing running in the nether, we're going to switch to nether mining, which will be a lot of fun, he said, hopefully. So we got that. We have nine scrap metal now, which is one too many, but not really a problem. Let's go ahead and we need to surround those with, I believe it was flint. So we'll grab ourselves some flint, that stack of it. Actually, while I'm here and I'm thinking about it, maybe two stacks would be useful. So a big old circle of that. We'll make sure we have this up here. And yeah, we don't really need two stacks of flint. Just the one will be plenty. We'll get our eight of these, I believe it was. Pull all this back out. Now we need to take a look at what else we need for our macerator. So we'll just type in macerator, get our rotary macerator in here. We're gonna need a basic macerator, which, ugh, do I really need to build another one? Can I just, can I just, there we go. I'll, I'll build another one here later. The, the Right now, we've got this one. That's all we really need, just the one. And I think that they can receive medium voltage just fine. So we've got that. And then the last thing we're gonna need is an advanced machine casing. So again, We'll need one of these, and we're gonna go ahead and grab two, because we have to have two of these anyway for our other machine. We're gonna need some advanced alloy, which is just, yep. Do I have any of that lying around? Does not look like, oh, I've got some advanced alloy lying around. Just enough too, but we're gonna need more anyway, so we'll go ahead and make some more. So we will get our car bronze. I think it's bronze. Yep, bronze. Our iron and our tin. Okay, we'll throw it all in here. Good gosh, two of them. We can do better. Boom, 40 of them. That's better, 42 of them. Excellent, what do I do with them? I forgot. <laughs> if we just hover over it and hit you, it'll tell us to throw it in the compressor. Hover over it, I can't talk right today. Jeez. <laughs> So we'll let that work and it should be ready for the next machine we have to build. After that, we have to have some carbon plates, which is a ball of carbon, which is just carbon that's been macerated many, many times. So let's get our macerator that we just tore down. We'll hook it back up. Oh, look what I forgot to do. I forgot to put right. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to be building a, it looks like we're going to be building a new macerator. Thankfully, it's not difficult. We've got what we need in here. What else was it? Some machine casings. We'll grab some of that. Some... Right. Okay. Not a big problem. And I guess while we're here, here... Go ahead and build two. We will break this cable back here. You are not what I meant to place. Just, just go away. We will add our transformers. I think I had two in there. I think we only need one going from medium voltage, but we've got two, so... Why the heck not? And we will apply a cable. And all will be well in the world. Now ah, what a load of nonsense. Okay, inside the macerator, we are going to take quite a bit of coal. So we'll grab that and we'll toss it in there. And we'll let it do its thing. Wait a minute! Wait just a darn second. Coal dust has an EMC value. Is that what we're making? I forgot what we were doing. What are we doing? No, we're compressing a ball of coal, which means we have to get some coal dust. We don't even need a... Good gosh, I just, what a load of, gah. We've got our coal dust. We've got a, a couple of stacks of that. What do we do with it? I think we just put it in a crafting grid like so, or maybe like so. Look at this nonsense. Oh, good grief. All right, we've got our raw carbon. We've got our carbon lumps. 
16 of them to be exact. This is enough of this. Thank you. Go ahead and get to work on this. Jeez. All the, all the just, ugh. Okay, we've got our two carbon plates. And I think it's just this. And a couple of these and a couple of those. Things from the bushes and things from the trees. I think they're yucky, but I know they'll please my friends for dinner. Name the movie in the comments. All right, now we have enough to make two, which is exactly how many we need, because after this machine, we're gonna be building the furnace as well. We might wanna build multiples of these, but as of right now, we won't. We're only going to build the the two of them, and we'll see how that goes. We've only got one quarry going in the nether, so it's not really that much of a rush to get a whole lot of different systems running. I think we got everything. Oh my gosh, I think we do. Okay, so from memory, this this actually goes here. And then these go in, but I think that's actually wrong. No, I think it was right the fro awesome. Our rotary macerator. Next up, we want to build that furnace. So if we take a look at our furnace options, we'll see we've got our induction smelter. We're gonna need an electrical furnace, which if I'm not mistaken, what is what goes into that? Yeah, we, we almost have everything we need here, so we'll grab our iron. Alright, put it all in a circle. We'll get our iron furnace. And then we just need to make it electrical. Nope, wait. Two of these and one of these. Electrical, okay. And then just a bit more copper. Or was it bronze? We'll grab copper and we'll hope for the best on this one. And hoping paid off. Induction of furnace and rotary macerator. Now, I should make a quick comment, just a quick mention of this. This pack, the IC2 Industrial Craft Classic, the mod has been updated in the most recent version of the pack, which I do not have. I've, I've told you all before, I haven't updated the latest version, so we're still working on an older version. What the heck happened to my wrench? Is it broken? I don't understand. It looks damaged. I'm concerned. It no longer has an EMC value. I don't think I want to use it anymore. We'll ignore it. Just stay up there and don't get into any mischief. Anyway, as I was saying, we need to fill this back up. Right, so I don't have the latest version of Industrial Craft, which means our upgrades, our input-output upgrades, are not working still. I haven't updated to the latest version, so they're still not functioning quite the way they should. That being said, the export upgrade did work, as did uh, with hoppers. So this is not the best system we're going to be using, but it is a system that works. So we're going to go ahead and use it. We're going to build a basic upgrade. Actually... No, we won't. I just thought about this. We'll wait until we update the pack, and then we'll change the system. I've got plenty of gates. We'll just go ahead and use those. That being said, I think anything else we're going to need, we can get using our... Where is it? There it is. Our, our um, uh, transmutation tablet. So I think we're ready to go and set this system up. Now, again, it won't be perfect. We'll change it once we update the pack, and we have the latest version of Industrial Craft Classic. Once we have that... We'll be able to use that to input and output a little bit better. Input and export, I should say. We're not going to worry about it, though, because... Oh, good gosh, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? Item sorting. I figure we'll do it over here. So, we've got everything coming in from our quarry right down here. We'll see a lot of the things that we've got to work with. A lot of these things need to go through a macerator. This needs to be macerated to get the sulfur out. Sulfur, though, does not need to be smelted because that we're not going to get anything by smelting sulfur. So, we'll have to, after it's macerated, send it someplace else. That might get a bit complicated. Okay. <sighs> Listen to the sounds. Listen to the terrible, terrible sounds. Okay. How am I going to do this? We'll do it up against this wall, I suppose. We'll have, first off, Rotary Macerator. Plop. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let's get another wrench. Okay, so we'll put a Rotary Macerator up here. And then we'll put two blocks in between, and then we'll put our induction smelter. Okay, yes, I'm happy with this. We need to go ahead and... Oh, wait, can I recycle this piece of junk? Okay, got nothing out of it, but whatever. It was a piece of junk, so we'll break this. We'll... I do that every time. Oh, no. What have I done? Okay, lover. Oh, I added a couple more engines. Right, let's go ahead and get this. It... Well, that... Mm, tragic, but I also don't care. We'll get rid of this guy, 
and we will replace him with our newly built MFE and hope that things don't blow up. Hey, we're good. Things aren't blowing up. Excellent. I'm always happy to see that when things don't blow up. How are y'all doing? You're pumping out lava. You are not filling up. We might need to build a couple more geothermal generators. I'm going to need some more glass fiber cables to hook these guys up, and I think I can hook them up directly. I believe that they can handle the output from the MFE, which should be fine. Also, we don't really need to be running the quarry this quickly if we don't even have a sorting system hooked up, so we'll shut down a few of these, and maybe that'll help us get this guy filled up. Yeah, okay, good. So we're running on half power, but not really an issue. Speaking of the quarry, you can see it right out here working away. And so far, so good. Doesn't seem to be any fire or lava blocking it, unless it just skips something up there. Nah, nah, it's golden, good. Now let's talk about sorting here, because this is where things are going to get a bit tricky. First off, items are going to come in from our quarry, and I guess they'll come in right here. They'll come in through that teleporting pipe, and then they will go into a chest. What kind of chest are we going to use? I guess we'll just go with the best chest we can get for the best price. They're bigger chests than the alchemical chest, but it is so affordable. Only, what, 8,000 EMC, I think? So we'll put that there. Items will go into there. And then from there, we need to pump them out in a system. We got to have a system for this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Do you folks remember that time we built an advanced... Where was it? Are the advanced... There it is. Wooden transport pipe? We're going to use this guy. We'll put it here, and we're going to tell it to take out certain ores. Look what I've done now. There we go. We're going to put another one down here. Okay. And then we're going to put our basic gates on both of those. So basic gate here, and a basic gate down there. And then underneath that, we're going to put another chest, so we'll get another chest. And this might not make a whole lot of sense yet, but it, it will here in a bit. We'll grab, grab a stack of these. We got the EMC for it. We'll put another... Okay, there we go. And then we just need to run the items using some golden teleporting... Or some golden, golden transport pipes. So we'll grab a stack of golden transport pipes. Oh my gosh, these creatures. Okay, we're going to ignore them. Okay, there we go. Also, while I'm thinking about it, we're going to go ahead and delete this, and we're going to replace it with a hopper. Which I happen to have one of. Cool. Ah, but I should put it facing toward the machine. I'm going to go crazy by the end of this. I'm going to have to turn down the game sounds. There we go. These guys, these creatures, they're so obnoxious. I, uh, I just... I can't take it anymore! Go away! Just, just, just go away! Just, just your chance! Just go! Where are you? No! What is this? Okay. <laughs> I can't escape them. I can't escape them. They're everywhere. Why? Why? Not why? On the plus side, we got a guest here, so that's new, and it's learned, and we've got it for the future. So we're gonna move all of these things up top, and we're gonna come back... <laughs> Come over here, and we're going to see what we've got to work with. What needs to go into the macerator? We want to macerate these. We want to macerate tin. Lead. Do we want to macerate it? Well, if we macerate it into pure lead dust, can we do anything with it? We can smelt it into ores. So, yeah, we're going to want that sm macerated as well. If we do build a second macerator, though, maybe we should figure out okay let's go with ores for right now anything that can be turned can go through a furnace we'll go ahead and take so gold can iron can we know that we've learned that lead can i suppose right lead can be turned into pure lead dust which can be turned into lead ingots but wait a minute how did we get pure lead dust from that go back lead net let's see lead that's from a macerator yeah it gives us pure lead dust can be smelted okay yeah so we've got we, we got lead. We've got tin, we know can do that. Copper can do that. What else can go through a... Okay, do we have copper? It looks like... We'll go ahead and we'll take these items up there with us, and we'll have to flesh it out a bit more. But we'll tell this thing, hey, you know what? When you find in this alchemical chest items that are required, take out the gold. Take out the... Oh, do we have any silver? Let's go check and see if we have any nether silver. Because that would be a good one. Nether silver. Nether... Nether lead. Nether tin. Okay. 
I'm not seeing any nether silver, but that doesn't mean there isn't any. It just means I'm blind as a bat and I'm not seeing it, or we haven't really gotten any out. And also, bats are blind. That's just a it's just a myth. They can actually see quite well. The only reason they use echolocation is for hunting. So there you go. And I think they might be a bit nearsighted. All right, so this will take out these items. This pipe down here, though, will not. It will not take out the gold, the iron, or iron, the lead, the copper, the tin. And so when we turn this guy on and we tell this to say, hey, when there are items in the inventory, do an energy pulse. And we'll tell this guy down here to do the same. Perform an energy pulse. And we put these items in here. See, they're both pulsing. This one won't pull anything out though. This one won't pull anything out because it's told to exclude these items. So these items will be sent on their way and the only things that'll go through, let's say we throw in some, boom, that got taken out, but where's it being taken? It should be taken down here. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. It just moved so fast we didn't see it happen. Awesome, so that is working now. We got that system, it's functioning exactly the way we want it to. Okay, it sucked all of these items down into here, but that's fine, we've got a hopper, we can handle it. Cool. Now we'll take from here, we'll do the same thing. We'll put another pipe and say, hey, take these items out and send them along down here. So let's say we put another induction smelter maybe right next to this one. Or maybe we'll put it right here. We can tell it to take all the items that won't go into a furnace and then, uh, not induction smelt them, but rotary macerate them. Does that make sense? I hope this is making sense because this is all making sense in my head. And really that's all that matters. Okay, so from there, it's going to take our items and then we're going to pump them out down the bottom and... We won't use an advanced wooden transport pipe for this one. We will go ahead and just grab a regular wooden transport pipe. And I'm not sure, do we have to have a wooden transport pipe for this? We might not have to, but we'll go ahead and we will set it up with yet again another hopper. So we'll grab a hopper. There we go. And we will add our basic gate to say, hey, you know what? Don't do that. <laughs> if there is an item... Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So can see if it's heated up or not. Cool, so it recognizes the different states of a rotary macerator. That's great, but what we're looking for is items in inventory, perform an energy pulse, drop them in the hopper. They'll drop them into here, which will then, after that, once again, need another wooden transport pipe. And that will dip these items out into an energy condenser hook this up and tell it to items in inventory perform an energy pulse excellent so we've got oh why are you activated there's nothing in here oh there is ah but there's nothing smelted so it's not going to pull the right yeah so it's only looking for items over here which is good now we have to power these guys up which means we got to go get some cables which is in the overworld so let's go get them plop how many of these do I have? There's none in here. How many of these do I have? There's none in here either. Oh wait, I know where they are. I threw them into our ender pouch a while back. Yep, which means they'll end up in here with some other things that haven't been sorted. This system sadly won't be around for much longer because again, we're moving all automatic quarry processing to the nether. We're removing all of our mining operations. Cub Cookie Company is moving to mining after that big dinosaur fiasco. We've got our cookie factory up and running again in Sky Factory, although that's not something we've really discussed here. And now we're gonna get some nether quarrying up and running so that hopefully we can continue to fund um, the resistance against Iroth, the remnant of people left who want to fight him. Now this is where the rubber meets the road. Will these blow up if I plug them in directly? Since we've already... Oh, good gosh. I guess we'll find out, won't we? And... Oop. All is well. Excellent. Now, I think we have to put a lever on here to tell it to stay on. Now, the... And I'm not really good at explaining things, but I'm going to try. Howdy, folks. How are you all doing? Cub here. And welcome to another LEGO Let's Build video. Trying something new here. I've got a slightly different setup that I threw together for this episode. I hope you guys will still enjoy it. Today, we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Ray's Speeder set. This is, of course from episode seven, and I hope that by now y'all have seen it because it's an excellent movie. I really enjoyed it a whole lot. Uh, I'm still churning about over my feelings about it, but I, I think, though I definitely liked it more than any of the prequels. I think I might've even liked it better than Return of the Jedi. I don't know. 